Yes, recording is in progress, and here comes, oh yeah, we're being live streamed now. Uh, okay, um, just wait for it to complete. So setting up your meeting, live on the Facebook page, there it is, there we go. Uh, and uh, let me see here, let me, uh, let me just move this down here and get it out of the way. Whoa, I didn't want that. No oh boy. Hold on a second, folks. Uh, I am, I got to there we go. I, I have, you know, I'm, 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 I'm still learning this after all these years, folks. Hi, how are you? There are a whole bunch of people. I just got finished eating a piece of bread before I came on here. I didn't realize how late it was. And I was making the coffee and making the bread and then eating the bread and realizing I got like two minutes left. Yeah, run in here, start the show. Anyway. We got all our people, a lot of people waiting today, including maybe a few new ones. Um, there's Marjorie Miller. That's my girlfriend. Uh, there's Rick Sheckman. Uh, and uh, hey, uh, uh, connecting to audio. Connect to audio there. Okay. There we go. She's outside. She's doing the Memorial Day thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and there's Andrew Deutsch, and there's Edward Berger, and there's That's Tony right. Wallace, and, and our old friend, Marjorie's friend, and my friend, Paula Levin. Hello there, Paula. How are you? I'm very good. Yeah. I, I enjoy, of all of Marjorie's friends, I really enjoy Paula the most. Hey, Marjorie. Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah. I want to say that I'm here with my very, very liberal friend, Rosemary. <laughs> Hi, liberal friend, Rosemary. Blue wave, blue wave. Hey. Is, 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 in her yard. <laughs> now, remind, remind people that because you live in Georgia, finding liberal friends is not an easy task. Yes, and I want to tell the story quickly how I met Rosemary. We were in yoga class together, like, what, six years ago, I guess? Yeah. It, no, it was maybe seven years ago. Yeah. And she had a Bernie sticker on the back of her car and an Elizabeth Warren. And Elizabeth Warren. And I was like, who's got the Bernie sticker? And finally, she, you know, she heard me asking and said, me, me. <laughs> so we bonded over Bernie Sanders bumper sticker on her car. How many, know, how many, key, how many key, key marks were there on his, on her car? <laughs> there was, uh, right. How, exactly. She said, did you ever have people damage your car? They stole my sticker. They stole her sticker. They stole her sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My Bernie sticker and my Elizabeth Warren sticker. She actually had an Elizabeth Warren sticker. I mean, how liberal do you have to be to have an Elizabeth Warren bumper sticker in Georgia? Uh, uh, that, uh, well, that uh, yeah, that is uh, that is pushing it in Georgia. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say hello. I know it's really loud where I'm at. Yeah. And happy Memorial Day. I know happy Memorial happy. Day to you too. But you know, yay summer, yay summer's here. Yeah, yay, summer's here. And so you're just sitting there lounging, right? Right. Well, yep. lounge, stay with us and join in when you want to. Okay. Yeah. I just don't want it to be too loud. There's many, many children here. Well, you, can, al you, can, you, can, always, uh, you can always mute your audio when you, when you want true. to. That's true. I should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, she knows how to do that. She's a, she's a, she's a pro. Yes, yeah, so I always have to mute it because the people in my office and I am me clicking away on my computer usually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I will be intermittently um, um, muting my, my audio because um, I live in Ohio uh, uh, through circumstances and um, <laughs> uh, um, uh, it just so happens that, that on Memorial Day and other holidays, uh, uh, the locals take advantage of it by roaring by my condo it was their motorcycles so you know like uh, uh, if, you, if you hear that um yeah you know, I, I will attempt to you know where, where in ohio are you akron where I'm are in you Cle i'm in cleveland oh really yeah wait a minute look out your window see if you can see her <laughs> <laughs> where do where do you live in cleveland right right here <laughs> <laughs> Part of Cleveland. <laughs> it's, it's an undisclosed location uh, oh, on the okay. east east side. Okay, 
because I have a grandkid that that uh, is living in the uh, University City uh, University uh, Heights, University, yeah, Heights yeah. area, yeah, which is. Great. I have a good friend who lives in Cleveland now as well. Uh, Me? It, no, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> the guy who actually helped me get my job at Sirius, uh, uh, Walter Sabo, right. lives in Cleveland. Yeah, I know Sabos. Several people with that last name. Really? A problem? Maybe it's common there. I don't, I don't it's know. It's an underrated city. It's a nice city. It has, there's, there's a lot there. I went there once to visit a girlfriend, uh, uh-huh. a temporary girlfriend. Uh-huh. Uh, no, but Here she was living go. there. No, don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you going to say how fat she is? <laughs> I didn't say anything. You know, she always says that all my ex girlfriends. Yeah, well, that was before she got fat. Well, they did blow up. Well, not all of them. That one didn't. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> one date with Alex, and that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Uh, anyway, I, I'm glad we got a nice little crowd here today because I didn't know what to expect for Memorial Day. Shecky is getting ready to go on a long, long voyage. If the plane flies on Thursday, because Delta canceled 20% of their flights over the weekend. Really? Yep. And But you're going to Europe. Isn't that slightly different with these uh, American flights? I mean, flights within the country? No, it was all over. And in the back of my head, it's like JFK to Prague. Eh, we don't got to fly there. (laughs) Well, yeah, they could say that. Those are the most profitable flights they're flying. If you were, if your cruise was out of Poughkeepsie, good luck. Yeah, just <laughs> make, just, just mention you know me. Okay, <laughs> that'll work. That yeah. should work. That'll get you through TSA inspection. Exactly. Luckily, I have about, enough about Cleveland? that if it gets screwed up, oh well. What are you gonna say, Paula? How, uh, I I hope that Cleveland to to LaGuardia is uh, um, uh, is still in business. Are you let taking? Me, let, let me check. Are, are you taking Delta? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You should be okay. Uh, but that's one Friday. That should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. It was that's just right. a. That's yeah. right after they bump Shecky. <laughs> <laughs> you can just take the train to the Greyhound station if your flight gets canceled. It's not so now, bad. Now you buy you buy trip insurance, right? Yeah. So if the flight is canceled, you get your whole, all your money back for everything for the cruise, the whole. Well, day. or they rebook me, let's say for Friday, or I could just say to the travel agent, "I want my money back. I'm not going." Oh, okay. And then the insurance kicks in. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I think that the in this day and age, I probably would take out insurance as well. We never did, right, Marjorie? We never yeah. go LA, so how, why would we take out? Stop it! Stop it with that. <laughs> well, I didn't back in the day, but now I do. Okay, you know. I don't yeah. think we did, Alex. Huh? You know, I told you we the didn't. Antarctica disaster. I got twenty thousand dollars back. Wow. Yeah. Well, how much? How much was the whole trip? Twenty-five thousand, maybe. Okay. It would have been nice if you gotten twenty-five thousand, but. You know, who's well, big ten thousand was the hospital bills. Well, you got you got to see penguins. Yes, I did, and smelly walruses. <laughs> well, you said the penguins weren't that no, neat. They either. also smelled. <laughs> they smelled how bad? Mm. Well, there's penguin crap everywhere, isn't there? <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, we th- we watch all these documentaries, you know, narrated by uh, Morgan Freeman. And uh, here's <laughs> the lovely penguins marching down the road, yeah, and they're going, they're going to make a family, and isn't that cute? And they're gonna go swimming. There we go, uh, and uh, and all that. And you don't take into account for the fact that these animals crap, <laughs> yes, okay? And and what do they eat for dinner? Fish. So this is desiccated fish crap. <laughs> and that's what you were that. What a lovely vacation. <laughs> you and you have to step there. over them or step over the walruses to get to wherever you're walking, you know. And oh, were, the, were the penguins all around you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Taking a dump on your shoes. And- 
All right, let, let's raise the level here. Come on. I mean, no, I <laughs> well, she is new here, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, we, we, we're, I don't, th we're not getting into horrible territory. It's just that everybody thinks that you go to Antarctica and Hey, you're going to see the penguins. Isn't that wonderful? And then you come back like this, you know, well, no, you get back on the ship and you have to put your boots into water to clean them off. Oh, to clean off all oh. the penguin poop. That's fun to say penguin poop. <laughs> you know, um, um, uh, and, and when's your next vacation, Paula? Friday. Friday. And where are you going? <laughs> I'm coming to see you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Marjorie and, yeah. and, and, uh, and Broadway and New York. Um, yeah. which, um, are, you, are you going to see company with them? Yes. yes. See, that was yes, it. and I'm going to give a standing ovation to Patty Lapone for calling out that guy in, uh, in the audience who wouldn't wear his mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where she told him in no uncertain terms that that it, what a jerk he is. Yeah, he right. left it at the theater. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He what? He left the theater. Well, he left the theater. He was escorted out of the theater. Okay, but this was, this was yeah, yeah, yeah as, as I understand. This was after a performance, though, when they were having like a little. It was the after talk. An after talk. Is there an after talk at every ep every episode? I I don't know, but I you know like uh, um uh she was on Stephen Colbert um and and kind of like repeated the whole thing and they didn't bleep anything. I mean you know like I I don't know what your level is here about you know. Oh, oh don't, don't don't fucking swear. About saying <laughs> fuck. <laughs> well, that's what she said. Well, thank she said, you so much, Marjorie, for demonetizing me for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> he would he wouldn't put his mask up and and uh, uh, and complained about it. And and she said, well, if you don't, why don't you just get the f out of here?" And and he he didn't shut up. He said he said, "Listen, I pay your salary." And she said, "Bull, mm, uh, my my salary doesn't get paid by you." And finally, they, es they escorted him out. And and wow. I I'm I'm thrilled that I wanted to give uh, I want to give her a standing O for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, know, you don't mess with Patty Lapone. No, no, you don't. <laughs> This is the show that we're going to see. Have we, we were thinking about the tickets, thinking and talking it over and talking it over. Then he dies. And the tickets quadrupled in price the day after he died. Somehow. Mm. And he was 90 years old. Come on. I mean, I love him, but he was yeah. 90 years old. But yeah, but the tickets were half the price. Is that what you're going to say? When I, when I go, you're going to say, like, if I go at 90, you're going to go, well, he was 90. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Really? Oh, uh, okay. If I have to eulogy, it'll be like, well, Alex made it to 90 or 95. Well, yeah. Well, that's what happens. Yeah. Yeah. We knew him. Yeah. Look who's getting sun. She's got her hand over her eyes and everything. <laughs> She's You're trying on to, mute. You're on mute. She's trying to find her unmute button. Yeah. <laughs> You can't see the phone in that bright light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I probably need to go because I can't hear hardly hear what y'all are saying. And my phone is getting really hot. Okay. Oh. Oh. here wants a refresher on her drink. So I need to go with her. Five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere, as she yeah. said. Okay. So, Enjoy the day. Okay. Bye. Have a nice, happy. I just happy, wanted to say hello. Have a Bye. happy Memorial Day. You guys last week. That was a good show, by the way. Bye -bye. What? Okay. Bye-bye. There you go, Mandy. Mandy is a regular on the show, and uh, she's. Can I uh, ask who else are regulars and where they are? All of these people, actually. How do I leave? Are they Here we go. Bye. 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 I heard the penguins were irregular. That was the whole problem. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the anal stage. Yeah. So what's her name? Oh, wait a minute. Now she can't turn herself off. See? No, no I can't see shit. Okay, we'll, the leave button. we'll okay, never get go. rid of her. <laughs> there we go. Oh, boy. Ah. Anyway, my back's killing me today. 
Uh, Here we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but how is your hand? My hand. I oh, I went. Wow. I got this. I, I I you know I had arth bad arthritis in my hand, and then I I fell and and uh, hit the hand on the ground uh, to protect myself. Right, and uh, 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 it hurt even more. So finally, the other day, I went to the doctor, and he said, "Well, the X-rayed the hand, said no broken bones." He said, but you've got arthritis like you've had in the past. I said, could this have exacerbated the, uh, the uh, uh, arthritis? He says, absolutely. So why don't we give you another cortisone shot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing more fun than a cortisone shot, ladies and gentlemen. If you, if you want something medically, just say, give me a cortisone shot. I love it. That is the most painful shot oh, I've ever not. gotten. I get in them my all life. the time. I know you get them all the time. You're ninety percent cortisone. <laughs> you know. I didn't, I didn't know that they are painful. Mm. Are Anything's painful for Alex. He's such a baby. <laughs> Did you say you've had some, Charlie? Yeah. And they're painful for you? No. Oh. Yeah. Nah. I like the pain I have that they get rid of. Well, this, yeah, I've, I've, got yeah. A, I've got a black and blue mark from the shot the other day, but he does it right here and he goes right in between the joint. I've had it right there too. Really? I have arthritis in my thumb too. Yeah. I have arthritis. Well, they say this is the most common place that people get arthritis if they're going to get it. So, and I, yeah, right there where I need that hand, you know? <laughs> I didn't know you were a drummer. Give me a shot. <laughs> yeah, well, you should see my paradiddle. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, boy. So uh, any of you have plans? For, obviously not for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> for that, for Memorial We're all Day. here. You have any well, you Memorial have Day is for... almost over. Sure. So yeah. Jackie's, Jackie's coming over for Thanksgiving unless his brother comes to town, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're already invited now. Okay. Okay. I told you I'm coming to visit you in October, Alex. Really? Okay. Too bad you're not okay. here in, uh, in, in around Thanksgiving. Then you <laughs> enjoy Thanksgiving dinner. There you go. But to be sure to get a, in touch with us, you know. You know, you know I will. What are you planning on doing when you come to New York? My uh, wife's um, uh, oldest daughter is getting married in October in Connecticut. Oh. But before that, we're going to fly into JFK a few days before and go to the theater district, go see Catch a Show and Catch an Alex Bennett, you know? The Catch yeah, an absolutely. Alex Bennett, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's so great. That'll be October 15th, 16th, 17th, uh, somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'll Girl. send you the email. Yeah. Anybody else involved? Well, Edward Berger's in town. That's right. I live here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you again? You're flushing. 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 Yeah. Oh, I live in Flushing. Yeah, he's in that Chinese, it's the Chinese section of town, Flushing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 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 do you ever go to that big store where you can buy ducks and giant uh, turtles? Oh, uh, no, I don't, I don't go there. Yeah, you can buy the giant turtles over there. Yeah. Uh, I, and uh, I guess if you I guess, do they kill them for you? I guess. So. I guess. Do they, Shecky? Do you know that? You know I think they're already dead. Aren't they the ones that hang out in the window? No, those are the ducks. They hang those, them by the feet. The ducks. Those, those are the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the ducks are upside down, but uh, the turtles seem to be still alive. Some of them in water, and then you. Well, the only time I saw the turtles was in China at. Um, I want to say if it was a Walmart, I can't remember. You exactly. know, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Because we I, we went to Did you go to the Walmart with me, Marjorie? Maybe it was while you were having a meeting and I went to the Walmart. Which, which city? In, in Beijing. 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 And I decided that I wanted. Hello there, Brian. I decided that I wanted to uh, see what the Walmart, even though I, I went. You, know, you want to see what they're selling. Yeah. And you go in there and then there's a whole section where they actually sell food. They don't sell food at Walmarts in America, but yes, they, they do. do they here? Full supermarket, everything here. I don't know. I've never gone to Walmart. I think once. And I brought bought something that I needed, like a little flashlight or something. By the time I got to the parking lot, it was broken. <laughs> you know, 
Yeah, those wet markets are everywhere in China. All the different retailers. Yeah, have but so China. We went to wet market, and in there they were selling the turtles and uh, you know all that stuff. Other other live fish. Other live fish. I hear the bats are delicious. Well, that's the trouble with the wet markets in China, you know. But no penguins. No penguins. No penguins. <laughs> I'm sure you could get them. Well, what, what, wait a minute. When you were at, in the Antarctic, uh, Shecky, uh, were there penguins being sold for food? No. No, 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 no. Does anybody eat penguin? I don't think so. But again, in Australia, they eat kangaroo. The, uh, uh, do that again, Andrew. Andrew. Andrew's doing his impression of a wet market. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the this, Wuhan virus. This is what he does for a living. He teaches people to do that, right? No, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I partnered with a guy to make a course, uh, what a year and a half ago that we sold. How to do? Yeah, very How well, very, very well. well. Yeah, hmm. and we didn't keep up with it because the the program that we we built it to upgraded about three different times since, and it, we. I'm I'm busy busy with other projects, so we let it go. No, oh, okay. All what right. did it do? It's a like a virtual television studio for your for your office or or for Zoom meetings. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. Is it hardware or just software? It's software. It's it's open source. It's free. So uh, do you base it on OBS, for instance? It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you base it on OBS, right? That's yeah. OBS. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it, Brian? <laughs> This is when I was president. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Sounds yeah. really interesting. Me and my friends <laughs> playing poker. Hey, penguins are protected. They are protected by the international blah 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 Antarctic <laughs> Treaty. What's this? Like, oh, oh, the penguins. Yeah, you cannot eat penguins. That's what it says. You can't eat penguins. Yeah, I thought you could eat penguins. I thought you could eat anything if you want to. But yeah, they're protected. So, so what happens if you step on one? No, you cannot eat them or their eggs. You're like they, they well, throw crap you goes the flying. The crap goes flying like accident. crap. In, crap goes flying like it's toothpaste. In China and Korea, they'll eat them. There, they'll eat anything with two or four legs, except for the table and the chairs. <laughs> Those pe penguins are way bigger than you think they are. They're like four feet tall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why do they look tiny? I, I don't know. Depends on the breed. Depends on the camera. Yeah, maybe. I think all those yeah. things. Oh, I, I think all those things they said once or twice about Mickey Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get in trouble for taking pictures of the wife because since I'm six four and I sort of look down, she gets upset because she said I make her look short all the time. How tall is she? She's I don't know. She's short. No, no. She's she's like five. <laughs> She's five five and a half, five six, something like that. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good that's foot. Average. Shorter. Yeah, but so she wants me to go down and angle the camera, and you know, so I just do it bad every time, so she doesn't make me take pictures of her anymore. <laughs> Much easier. And well, you, then get on your knees and shoot her up. You know, <laughs> so, you know Marjorie and I were talking about something the other day, and I I think this is really true. And now that we have two women here, we had three, but it would be nice if Mandy could have stuck around because. I wanted to bring up the uh, the most important thing in our lives right now, which is, of course, the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Oh, jeez. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was that OBS stuff you guys were talking about? <laughs> you want me to go and back the, to the OBS? And no matter who wins in this case, are they going to pay the 50 or $100 million? Come on. <laughs> No. I think you should go back to the penguin crap, yes. Yeah, but anyway, the, the <laughs> point was we were we were watching it. We have to admit that. And then we were, just to mention to her that, you know, uh, you, you hear Johnny Depp in all these recordings apologizing, writing notes, apologizing, saying, yes, it was all my fault. I apologize. And I tried to tell Marjorie, and this is true, guys will always admit they were wrong just to stop the argument. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah. That's very sweet. What? That's so sweet. <laughs> no, because women are very stoic about it. They will not say they were wrong. They will not apologize. It's always a guy's fault. So you just, 
A guy will just admit it's his fault in order to stop the argument. And and women will never forget. Well, that's true. Yeah, we know. Yeah, you know, if you have to pick someone up at the hospital. No, no here we go. <laughs> uh, here we go. You know, that was 40 years ago. You realize that, don't you? Paula, when I had my spine surgery, oh, Alex God. wanted to pick me up. And I had to take. I had to take a car service to get so, the guy to come in to take me out of the hospital. So every once in a while, you remind him of that. I have every once every, in a while. Every week. Every week. Every we go, week. We go through his hand. We go through. We have a list. No, in in uh, in in a marriage, that's among for women. That's considered collateral. Oh yeah, for you sure. Know. They sit there and they add this all up. And I'll remember this when this happens. Do you remember the time when we were out to dinner and you didn't pass me the salt? <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to try and excuse it any longer. Uh, I was wrong. Now drop the subject. So, so what does this have to do with Johnny Depp? Because I, 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 oh. well, no, I, I, I must saying. say, I must say that I do not, I have not followed it. Uh, oh, you missed a wonderful oh. thing. <laughs> what, did I, what did I miss? Oh, you meant, oh. You, you love to see this kind of thing in a court of law because you think about it as the most hallowed place in America, right? And then to have them talking about how she took a dump in his bed. Yeah. No, that was the dog wasn't it? She said it was a dog, but they then said the size of the turds were those of humans, oh. not of dogs. It's a good thing they had a turdologist on the, on the panel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we haven't had that kind of, that kind of um, uh, uh, stuff on TV since Clinton. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. all news. That's all news. Every day there were new revelations about uh, the fine details. Yeah. Not as good as this. Yeah, all the, uh, this was fun, and for two old people who don't work anymore <laughs> and have no life, it was something to do, you know. Yeah, but would you like to be in that jury six weeks about seven. this BS? Seven, seven, it was seven, seven weeks. I uh, no, I thought that myself. Would I want to have been on the? Would I have wanted to have been on that jury? And my answer, of course, was categorically no. N except for when she was testifying and he was testifying. Then I would have liked to have been What there. What is supposed to happen? I, I, I mean, what is it based on? The, the, why is there a trial? He's suing, well, he, he is he suing. He wrote an article in the Wall Street Journal about life abuse. No, no. No, it was in a British newspaper. No, no, it was in a British paper. It was in the- oh, uh, She didn't name Journal. him, but she did it up and <laughs> about being abused. oh wait a minute she did an op-ed i think it was in the washington post if i'm not mistaken i yeah, think yeah. and and she talked about abuse in a marriage and of course it was obvious who she was talking about so he sued saying that she had ruined his career by bringing this stuff up and saying that he had been abusive when in fact he wasn't meanwhile she's suing him because of an article that appeared in england in which johnny depp said stuff about her to this guy Waldman or something who wrote the article. And uh, so he's, she's suing him. He's suing her for um, uh, $50 million. No, she wants a hundred million. She wants a hundred. No, I'm million. saying he, he's suing her for 50 million and then she's suing him for a hundred million. And do any of us care? No. Well, at this point I'm invested. <laughs> We can't. <laughs> Mike, Mike Lindell from My Pillow was a little upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hates the criti the criticism. You know what? You know what I wanted to ask uh, 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 Mandy, but she went. Is in Georgia they re-nominated for congressman uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. How does that happen? Yes, yeah, but they also re-nominated the governor, who apparently is quote anti-Trump. So whatever. Yeah, uh, it, it was really you know, uh, I. But anyway, uh, no. Getting back to the important stuff, which is you know, uh, the uh, Depp uh, heard brouhaha. <laughs> it was fun to watch. You know, I mean. Yeah, but but then whatever happens, there'll be a new trial. Oh, you mean they'll, they'll go back into court again? 
Well, don't you think if they said, Mr. Depp, you win or Miss Heard? Well, I, you would win. Advi- I would advise against that because, quite frankly, just to be honest with you, um, sequels never work. <laughs> you know, very rarely. <laughs> Yeah, but they'll do one on the History Channel or, you know, CNN will have a documentary about it. Yeah. Hello, Charlene. How are you today? Oh, hi, Alex. I'm watching Angeline. Have you seen that yet? Angeline? It's a it's a peacock about, you know, that woman with the billboards. You know who she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't subscribe to Peacock. I did. And then uh, I think it was Disney Plus came along and I said, I think I'm going to dump Peacock uh, because there was nothing there. If you see it, this is the kind of thing that I live for, Alex. I finally found something that I love. It's all about like this crazy bitch that went to New York and was in a band and all this. And it's like, you know, they, the music is outrageous. They play Yoko Ono music. You know how Yoko is crazy? How great Yoko Ono, you know. Yoko sounds- isn't crazy. I know Yoko. And she's I know. crazy. Too. I know, but I love her. But the soundtrack from this is excellent. Like the well, music. Uh, punk um, and- yeah, I just I just found no reason to stick with Peacock. That's the most useless of all the streaming services. Well, if you want to watch um, stories about Chicago crime, I guess you want Peacock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, we have um, well, uh, I have, and I've also put you on there for it. Uh, we have a package from which we yeah. get, uh, the Disney Plus. Plus Hulu and Disney Plus, mm. and um, those are worth it. Those are definitely worth it. You know more than I think anything else I pay money for. I think I think Netflix is getting terrible lately. Mm. Yeah, but Peacock again has just NBC shows that none of us watch. Right, right. <laughs> uh, and Net- uh, Netflix got a hold of the recording that Norm Macdonald made before he died. They're putting it out as a fifty-minute special. I think today. I think today yeah. is really? dropping. Yeah, yeah that should I, be really I'm interesting. Just say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna say that. And it, is it something he probably wanted to have released? Yeah, yeah. He oh, yeah. It. He shot he it like it. in his. I don't want to say bedroom, but he shot it in his house. Yeah. And he knew he was dying when he did it. Yeah, it's like it's like that last Warren Zevon record that was so brilliant. He was, he almost didn't finish it because he he was dying. Wow, uh, one of the Alex, best, one of the best albums he ever too. put out. Yeah, I wanted that, to tell you about that too. I just wanted to say that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, but that, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to. I think it, I think it came out today. So Maybe I'm going to pay. I'd like I'm going to pay it. twenty bucks a month to get one show. And I thought That's you could Netflix. watch the. The latest season of Stranger Things. Oh, good. There was a uh, people yammering about it that they put out six of the final episodes and the other two you got to wait for. Yeah, my daughter watched them all last night. Red Notice was a great movie. I loved that yesterday. I watched it. What? 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 Red Notice with Ryan oh, yeah. Reynolds and, and uh, Dwayne the De- Rock. Johnson, yeah. Wait, what was it was it? fun. I seem to remember watching that. And it also had Gal Gadot as a villain in that. She was, it's called Red Notice. I think, Red Notice. I think we watched right. it, didn't we, Marjorie? I think so. It sounds you know, when you get to our age, you don't know what you watch. <laughs> it's it's oh, it's at my age, I don't know. <laughs> you can keep okay. watching the same things over and over again, and, and it'll be new to you, so it's fine. <laughs> That's, true. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I... I um, um, yeah, no, I... I I'm trying to remember. I think I've watched it. Or we watched the first 10 minutes and Marjorie didn't like it. One or the other. Mm. I fell asleep. There you fell asleep. That's what I do, right? <laughs> Who has seen everywhere, everything, all at once? Uh, yeah. uh, it's yeah. very, supposedly, it's very good. I want to see it. it it's, um, well, be prepared if you go to see it. Because I was not prepared. I didn't know what the heck was going on until like, two thirds of the way um, uh, uh, into the movie, but it's it's like a series of of um, realities and uh, a lot of kung fu and and being in somebody's head and it, it's uh, I mean it's, it was a pretty interesting movie and it's, uh, it's did you enjoy hard. after Michelle Yeoh in it? Yeah, Michelle Yeoh is in it. Oh, and, and she's James, amazing. She is yeah. wonderful. Oh, James, James, wonderful. James Hong is in it. Yes. Uh, and, uh, 
but it's uh, uh, I, I heard good things about it, you know, that it's strange. It's very it, strange. And it's, it's unlike any movie you'll ever see. It, it's mind bending. And it was uh, the, 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 the directors and uh, the director and the writer are uh, two guys, it's the Charlies, something like that. Yeah. Did, did, did you went to a theater to see this? Yeah. 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 Because I don't think it's on. Uh, I think it's only at the theaters right now. Yeah, it's only at the theaters right now. There's, there's ways to watch it. Maverick? There are ways to watch it, I'm sure. Alex knows how. What's it called again? Every Everything, everywhere, all at once. Everything, what? everywhere, all, at, all at once. Okay. And yeah, here comes the star of the show, ladies and gentlemen. We wanted more than two women today. And we got, what are you doing? Why are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Uh, Do you want to sit down here? Huh? Oh, oh. <sighs> Come over here. <laughs> here. Okay, wait a minute, I got to ask her a question. Uh, Adrian, I got a question I want to ask you. What do you think of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? <laughs> <laughs> She's got you know, better things to do, right? My son's watched on YouTube. They have a bunch of clips on there. Like, you know, they have a theme of clips. And so he's been watching it. And I just shake my head. <laughs> Wasting your time. Learn some language or something. Are you going <laughs> to, by the way, now that she's getting older, I think it's time to start uh, uh, ringing the house with bear traps. <laughs> yeah. Because I, you don't want too many guys coming up to the front door. No. <laughs> I, I, I disagree. I raised three daughters and the guys that I know who, put all the protections and the, the hard speech and otherwise had the sluttiest daughters in the world. And those that, <laughs> those that talk to their kids as, as parents should uh -huh. had daughters that were responsible as heck. Yeah. There you, yeah. There you go. Yeah. But you know, how many boyfriends do you have? Yeah. What? Zero. I said, how many boyfriends do you have? Do you have a boyfriend? No. How many then? How many? Not yeah. one? Zero. Okay. Zero. Boys are icky. By the way, this is the new ventriloquist act we have. <laughs> See if she can do that while you're drinking water. Yeah. <laughs> you want to show Alex what you made for him? Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. You no. send it to him anyways. No. No. Well, wait a minute. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something, Adrian. I want to okay. show you something. Hold on a sec. Oh, the bat's killing me today. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Len. You're supposed to say Elise's wearing pants today. That? <laughs> that, that's a line. I know he says that. See, those are your stuff. Those, okay. those are oops. Those are yours. Wow, look at that. Those are yours in back of me. See, right back. Yeah. Those are your pictures. The pictures, Adrian. Huh? Say thank you, Adrian. I can't see it though. I know, but those are the ones you sent him. Yeah. Okay. Those pictures you sent to me, and there's a newer one up there. It's a very, I think, a top. If I can, uh, I love Alex. I love oh, yeah. you, Alex. Oh, yeah. uh, she yeah. keeps making more, so I'll send you some more. You see, I mean, I, I, I don't have any kids, so I don't, I have nothing to put on my refrigerator or my doors. Mm -hmm. So, I think we should send you a new pillow. Maybe we should all send you pictures of hey. you know, I'll, I'll send you one. I'll send you one. I know, I'll but you have one. to say something. If you're going to be on the show, you have to say something. Hey, we could do macaroni pictures or something. That'd be fun. We'll yeah. get you a well, macrame owl. Macaroni. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Go. Okay. She says she wants to sit with me, but yeah. Bye. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do where's adrian like where's waldo <laughs> you know? yeah she's um, been she's been feeling sick sick a little bit last few days so mm -hmm. coughing and stuff like that so i've given her like five tests already <laughs> oh, really she, no covid yeah no so. <laughs> apparently it hasn't gotten her that badly yeah yes. i know yeah, yeah. Alex, close the door. There's an echo. Oh, okay. Oh, I close the door. <laughs> you, need, you need a bigger apartment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I like those pants. They look nice. Oh. They're different than the um, plaid ones. You no. Uh, those are pajamas. So I uh, oh, pajamas. look like I'm walking like an old man. 
Well, <laughs> no, you're not. I just see you Let's not go way. any further with that thought. <laughs> you look fine, Alex. You don't look like you're old man. No. You stood up pretty good. That was yeah. Good. I don't know what happened. What happened to me? My back that like just went. I don't know something. I don't care. Well, you know, I, watched, back too. What? I watched your okay. You what? I was gonna say I watched your Bobby Slayton interview the other night. Oh. And that was great. Not, yeah. Sorry. Not only was it great, great I, it was made me very sad that he is not going to go back out. <laughs> yeah. That you he's know? yeah. That he's through with comedy. Well, I, let let's okay. see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Know. You know. I mean. I think I think he was right though. You know, it, if you're going to a show to see him, you know, like when he said he and to see he and Gilbert on that dirty the dirty guy show or whatever that was. Yeah. So, you know, then they have the expectation. You don't have like a Saturday night or a Friday night at a comedy club when people are going out for drinks and they just oh let's go see a comedy show. You know, I think if they people who are paying to go see Bobby, you know, those are people that they know what he's going to talk about. Yeah, the problem the problem is is that uh, number one, well, he doesn't want to do another interview ever again. You know, well, we'll see if we can. Just tell him, tell, call him and tell him, I think I'm dying. I want to have one last interview. Yeah. I did, did that every month with him. Yeah, I'm still dying. <laughs> well, I'm 82. I will eventually. You know, <laughs> what, what would you like to say? You never talked to me and then I suddenly croak? Huh? 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 Yeah, I started seeing him back in the 80s and he has always been consistent and funny. And I absolutely love, I used to sit in the front row. So he'd pick on me because I loved it so much. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, uh, he, he, I, I, I think Shecky would agree with me. Wouldn't you Shecky that he was one of the best comics around? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, uh, never got on the Letterman show though. Cause there the, was a ridiculous reason. It, mm -hmm. the, the reason was from what I hear, that at some point in in his career, David Letterman had met up with Bobby Slayton. Mm. Yes. And Slayton had either snubbed him or not been nice to him or something. I thought it was that Dave thought that Bobby stole one of his jokes. Maybe that was, Maybe it. yes. Oh, no, no, no. I know what it was. He went up to Dave and said, that joke you're using, I think maybe you got it from me. And after that point, Letterman didn't like him at all because he'd been accused of stealing a joke. And it may not have been a stolen joke, you know. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it wasn't Robin Williams. <clears throat> <laughs> well, it was yeah, it wasn't people that steal jokes as a as a living. Or Milton Burl. Or, or Milton Burl. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and after a while that became a joke about Milton Burl, you know. Uh, but I, I you know, it it's um it was it was uh, it was the reason why he never got on Letterman. Letterman always had this attitude about Bobby. But yeah. Alex, if you if you steal a joke about a joke stealer, what does that make you? <laughs> a third and a third third hand uh, not funny. Hand. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, you know, well, I, I hope he changes his mind at some point. You know, but I mean, he's sixty seven. He has the right to retire just because he brings us. <laughs> pleasure that's one thing but i i think know. he actually feels that the the general uh, well things have moved on unfortunately sure. in the comedy field sure yeah sure. and he's not he's not uh woke enough let's say he's not woke would not even be well, into never this his fight. act huh? you know, he doesn't want to get punched by someone yeah, yeah. Neither, neither was what? neither was rickles neither was that but they were in a different time so what, you know, what? a different time well, what's the new ricky gervais special that just just came on he, he's so far from woke and he gets away with it because huh. he refuses to let them cancel him huh he's, he's brilliant the, the problem is every time some kid tells me that what i said was offensive even though it wasn't mm -hmm. i say you're being offended is really offensive to me so mm -hmm. you need to stop doing it because i'm highly offended yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's time to push back. Don't don't let some 20 something tell you what you can and can't say. Exactly. The, 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 that that weird fringe of the far left are destroying destroying the world just as much mm -hmm. as the right wing knuckleheads that want autocracy. Right. 
It's, right. it's time to push back and say, no, I, what I'm saying is funny. It's not inappropriate. If you don't like it, don't listen. Yeah, but still, or, you know, when or, you're, or when turn you're, the TV off or change the channel. Yeah, yeah. But but, you know, he goes out to he, he if he goes out to a college today and starts doing his material, oh, he'll Lord. never get out of there alive. No. You know, no. uh, he couldn't play colleges any longer. There are only a certain amount of gigs he can do and still do his material. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, uh, it Rickles, I think if he were coming up today, wouldn't have a chance. No. I mean, if he was doing the material he did. But then you, you look at somebody like George Carlin. He was very funny. He was very dirty, all that. The last time I saw him was a, just a couple months before he passed. And he was doing grandfather jokes about kids and grandchildren or whatever. And it was so odd to see that coming out of his mouth. But it was still funny and it was well thought out. And Carlin, Carlin changed his act so many times because of the times also, right? Yeah, yeah. he was able to get along with him. I think he felt towards the end he couldn't keep up. That new documentary is brilliant. It's like yeah. two, it's one and a half hours back. Yeah. Yeah. But he, I think he began to feel he couldn't keep up with the, the changing times, as it were. It wasn't that any of his stuff was terribly offensive in the normally offensive way. Right. Uh, but it's still, you know, I mean... Bobby, for instance, is, is the kind of act where he goes after Chinese and he goes after any race that's in the room and he goes after women and he goes, you know, well, how's that going to play today in most clubs around the country? And will the owners even want that in their club? Right. You Again, know. watch Ricky Gervais in his new show. He does all of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, well yeah. if you're oh. Gervais, you can get away with it. You can get away no, with it. But Gervais is now part of cancel culture. I read the other day. Uh -huh. Really? That special he did. That how dare this man do that kind of material? And it won't stop him. They can they, yeah. to be canceled means that you have to listen to it and disappear. I think yeah. there are people out there on their Just don't let them. There are people out there on their haunches waiting. Yeah. For something like the Gervais special, so they can write that letter. Oh, I am so upset. Paying, paying good money to be offended and let the world know they're offended so they can feel like they're important. Remember when Gervais. Wait, you're, you're, you're muted. Yeah. yeah, you're mute on. Your mute is on. There we go. I, uh, what did Gervais do? Remember he did all that routine, uh, you know, at the Emmys or Oscars or whatever it was, just ripping everybody. I mean, yeah. Golden know, Globes, I think. You've got to be yeah. the best at that. And, and then is going back every year. And then yeah. his Netflix show, That Afterlife, is one of the yeah. top-rated shows that gets the most I'm, new I'm viewers. I'm telling you, I, he won't I, let people cancel him. He won't put up with it. I kind of ran out of uh, out of being a bit hot on on Ricky Gervais. His specials don't blow me away or anything. And then he did this Afterlife. Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. brilliant. Have you seen it, Shecky? Wonderful. You watch no, it? I, I only saw the first episode. So one it's day I'll get back. It's really it. very it's good. Great. It's brilliant. Now really that every show I watch has been canceled. I'll have time. They just finished the third season. <laughs> it, it, they fin he's not going to do any more. That's the no, last. No, but it's going to it's going to come out soon. No, it already has. Oh boy, there you go again. You've already watched it, Marjorie. No, I think I think the fourth, the next season is the last one. I think is what they said. No, oh. he, no third it was supposed What's to be the, the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's uh, the afterlife. After okay, afterlife, it's called. Yeah, Simply, it's got to die. His, his wife dies. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a hell of a good idea for a comedy series, but he uh, he just he's very bitter and he, you know, he's really missing her. And it's all about that bitterness and how he has to deal with it. And the people around him have to deal with it. And it's very funny. Yeah, hmm. very good. Especially, especially you, if you've lost somebody when you're young, it's really related, really relatable. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I thought it was just a great series. I thought it was maybe in many ways the best thing he's ever done. And it's also a tribute to to death and dying from the eyes of an atheist and other beliefs. And there's a lot to it. It's multi-layered. It's a great show. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, you should uh, you should watch it if you have it. Uh, it's uh, there. There's another good thing on Netflix. That's certainly worth the twenty dollars a month. Is that on Netflix? Did we yeah. see it on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, what's wonderful is I can watch a lot of sh movies and stuff I like over again, and she enjoys them for the first time. No, or I know it's not the first time, but I enjoy them still. You know what it is? Can I complain for a moment, Marjorie? 
Oh. You always do. Is this a question? Oh, it's your show. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paula, side with me on this one. She, Paula, don't. She, I come in and she's, I say, oh, you're watching another one of these binge worthy shows. And she says, yeah. And I say, what is it? And I look at it and I go, you've seen this already. <laughs> what she's gotten to is a point where she has binge watched so much stuff that she forgets what she's watched. It's like all one big pate to her. Alex, I do the same thing. Huh? I do the same. I do the same thing. So really? Do My husband yeah. gets so mad. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it, it's just, uh, uh, I, I wish you'd remember what you'd seen. Yeah. Um, and on Netflix, if you're watching it, you've probably seen it already, you know. Mm. Uh, but I just don't, I don't think that Netflix is worth the $20 a month. If I didn't have Marjorie here, I would cancel it. I get it free with uh, with uh, um, T-Mobile. Do, do you get it free? Yeah. 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 Uh, on the other hand, there are a couple other, uh, like I like Paramount Plus. Me too. You know? And I think that I think they've gotten a lot, especially the show they're doing on on The Godfather, the series. Oh, yeah. Making you won't that. be able to won't be able to watch Dancing with the Stars without uh, Disney this year, I guess. That's going strictly to Disney Plus. Oh Dancing God! How is... horrible! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's an outer space funny. thing with dancers. Gee, <laughs> next they're going to co-op the Bachelorette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll free up an hour. Really? Is it, is it going? Are they going to Disney Plus? They're going to pay only. Yep. Yep. Oh, they, God. They're going to actually have stars on that thing? Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm on there. Well, I, what I always liked was years ago, they used to have the Hollywood Squares and they say, pick a star. And I would have, I always wanted to be a contestant on that show. So when they said, pick a star, I would say, well, if you put one up there, I will. <laughs> You know, you're, you're, stretching the term, you're stretching the term star a little bit when you're pointing to Charlie Weaver. Or Paul Lind. They had good careers. They did. Yeah, but not star. They, stars, you know, we take these words that yeah, are but important. You gotta, how are you going to get um, Jimmy Stewart to show up? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm saying is We've taken terms like stars, genius, genius, genius is another one, whatever, and we apply them to people. And I'm going, you know, like they go, oh, you know, that uh, the Robin Williams is a real genius. And I said, well, that's certainly going to be news to Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's what I always say about page six of the New York Post. I've never heard of 95% of these people. <laughs> exactly. Um. Exactly. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm just lucky that I've heard of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. <laughs> but didn't it start with porn star? He's, porn star, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Porn, no, porn. I forget the. What I'm gonna Anybody call it, who, who spread their legs or could get an erection was immediately a porn star. Oh, what do you do for yeah. a living? I'm a porn star. <laughs> you know. You know. I saw one of them on page six today. Never heard of the woman. Never will hear the woman, but mm. she's a porn star. Okay. Really? Do you remember the name? No. Huh. I mean, she might really be a porn star. You don't know. Alex? Yeah. Alex, you know, I find myself too. I'm old and I watch these things and I've never heard of any of the people in it. And I'm so mad. I'm like, you know, what is this? You know, like I feel so even older. Because there's so many people now that I don't know who they are and all these things, right? It, it upsets me. Well, when we when we have uh, when we have dinner, uh, we turn on TMZ Always. And for at least twenty minutes while we're eating dinner, or Probably three minutes, if, minutes. Or, or three minutes if it's just our right. bimbo shrimp. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, as we're watching it, we don't know anybody. Yeah. Or like today, you know. Breathless coverage that Bruce Jenner wasn't invited to Courtney Kardashian's wedding in Monaco, where the <laughs> hell it was. Who cares? Right, right. Wasn't his daughter anyway? Portofino. No, see, she knows. 
<laughs> you know, Alex, I, I hired a couple of 20 somethings to as laborers to help me with the demolition on the new house that I'm, I'm downsizing to. And they turned on their music and it was, you know, kind of urban rap stuff. And I said, you guys, can you put something else on? It's just a little much for me. I said, oh, we'll put it on the classic rock. So they put on classic rock. It was Green Day. And- <laughs> <laughs> you know, or aspiring rapper X was murdered in Brooklyn today. Wow. Never heard what of- does that mean? Well, there's always a rapper getting arrested yeah. on TMZ. That, yes. that, that's that's a given. OK, uh, but, and I think they aspiring, actually aspiring rapper. I guess I'm aspiring. Well, rapper. I mean, and my question is, are, do those rappers actually get themselves arrested to up their their work? Oh, I think they do. To their audience. Yeah. 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 Good cred. Mm. Yeah. Because I, I, I who care? You know, again, aspiring rapper X, Y, Z, whatever their name might be. Yeah. Wow. OK. Fine. Amazing. Just and amazing. then two weeks later, unfortunately, they get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the East Coast, West Coast. Yeah. You know, you know, he was killed. Yeah, still exist. It, yeah, on the on the East Coast, yeah, they get murdered. Right. On the West Coast, they simply get maimed. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with an apology. Uh, <laughs> you know, sorry, I sorry I shot you with a bullet. Uh, <laughs> How about you, Paula? I'd... Does any of this make sense to you? Any of these mean? people? Do, do you... Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm uh, following closely. I, w- I watched on Netflix a couple days ago. Um, I, I, I never liked Letterman when he was on uh, his uh, the late his late the show. regular the old show. Uh, but but uh, the, the interviews that he does uh, um, very good. are really good. And yeah. he interviewed Billy Eilish. Did anybody? And see I thought that? she. And I thought it was a very good interview. And I've it never was a heard great her interview. Or whatever. Yeah, I don't care about her, but I hear it is a great interview. Well, I, there's something to her. I really think so. I think might she's I, very might talented. I say that that Shecky is no longer employed by David Letterman. However, oh. he will oh. still stand up for him. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like it's people he books that he wants to spend. 50 minutes, let's say, with, as opposed to six minutes with some woman who's, you know, leaning over to show off her breasts, let's call it. Is, is it true? Is it, you said to me, and I don't know if it's true or not, is it true that he is making as much money off those specials on Netflix as he made per year at CBS? Pretty much. But don't forget, he was also paying all of us. Mm. Yeah. Now he's keeping it all. But what I'm saying now he's is, keeping it all. if that yeah. in fact is true, we know now why Netflix is having problems now. Yeah. I mean, but also we, when you watch this show, you can see Dave has done his homework. Yep. Yep. You know, I watched this movie you made. I watched that movie you made, whatever it might be, you know. Yeah. Where on the old show, it would just be like, eh, I got to do six minutes with whomever. And yeah, fine. You know, I there's a inter, there's an interview with Woody Allen. I can't tell you the guy who did it. I'd never heard of the guy before. I don't know how we got him, but he got Woody Allen for an interview. And it is an amazing interview with Woody Allen. And he never asks him about the whole Pharaoh whatever situation he's talking to him about his life and his philosophy and what he thinks about life and death. And I mean, it's a really incredible interview. It's like two hours long. Um, like he, ha- he says he hates nature. And he asks, well, why do you hate nature? He says, cause uh, civilization never bites you or scratches you. So, but nature does. You know, he says, I, he says, everybody thought having a pet was a great idea. He said, we went and got a dog. I cared about him for about three days. He said, and that was it. After that the dog just pooped a lot and barked and, you know, was annoying. He said, animals are annoying. He says, you don't want to have an, uh, take care of an animal. I mean, it's a good interview. If anybody can, it's on yeah, but, YouTube. But it's yeah, on Mia, YouTube. Mia Farrow, I have nothing against her. I she's do. crazy. Oh, she's nuts. Yeah, she's out of her. She's out of her mind. And I'm not saying Woody is not crazy too in his way, you know. Well, you know, you watch this interview with him, and he he, he has a logic for everything he feels about things, you know. 
and and he uh you know he said he asked him he said what do you consider yourself more a filmmaker or writer he says i'd like to think i'm more a writer because when they no longer allow me to make movies i can still write he said and i can write movies and if they want to buy my movies and i'll write books and if they want to publish my books then i will just write it down and hope that after i'm gone somebody finds it when i'm dead and lets other people read it you know he says it's still there and it, it's a very good interview it's on youtube just put in woody allen and it's like uh it's a show called oh i'm trying to remember the name of it he had a title for it but there's a whole batch of them on woody allen oh no there's one on woody allen this There's guy did one on Woody Allen. Actually. He did one with uh, Noam Chomsky, and he did one with uh, a whole bunch of people. He, but this, it, 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 it's an interesting interview because you've never seen Woody Allen interviewed this way. You've never seen Woody Allen interviewed in particular. But in this case, he sat down for this guy, and I have no idea why. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, we've run out of time. It's so Aww. nice of you to all join me on a Memorial Day. I know how you were giving up hot dogs and hamburgers <laughs> and uh, all the fun that it is celebrating Memorial Day when you really shouldn't celebrate, you should honor because it is for the war dead. The fallen, um, right? Yeah. Yeah, the fallen. Which yeah, yeah, let's have fireworks now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's have hot dogs. Boy, I'm going to drink a lot of beer on Memorial Day. <laughs> well, you save that for Labor Day. That's the day you get drunk and have parties and have hot dogs and hamburgers. This is the one you honor uh, the people who have died for our country, albeit, I believe, in vain. But anyway. Uh, yes, Paula, did you have your hand up? No, no that, that was a gesture. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I, I feel that anyone who ever died in any war died in vain. You know, and that we shouldn't uh, say that they didn't, but that's what we honor is that they died in vain. And 50 we... years later, maybe they'll they'll um, say the truth about it. But yeah, not oh, exactly. Time. And uh, 50 years later, you find out the war wasn't what we thought it was. Yeah. You know. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time and I, uh, I love this. And uh, Marjorie, thank you so much for joining us. I know you've had to go a long way to get here. Uh, <laughs> Rick, thank you. Uh, uh, well, oh, wait a minute. One question I got. Wait a minute. For two women here. This was another thing on the Woody Allen thing. He said, when I was growing up, I wanted to be funny. And the reason I wanted to be funny was that's what the girls liked. And, and then it was, the discussion went on to the fact that talk to any woman. We have three of them here. And when you say, what do you want in a guy? And they say, oh, well, I can be handsome, whatever. But he should have a sense of humor. It's always one of the things on the checklist. Uh, 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 do you feel that way too? Yeah. You make me laugh. Sometimes. He makes me laugh. Yes. That, that's absolutely an asset. He makes yeah. me laugh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He beats me, but he makes me laugh. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Shecky. Have a, have a nice uh, trip. Uh, Shecky, hopefully, hopefully we'll see you here next week. I will do my best. Lounging on a boat. Uh, Andrew Deutsch, good to have you here. Always a pleasure to have you here. I found that picture of us, by the way, at the radio station. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It was right, it. the other day. Uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Sorry you live in Texas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lot of, did you see they booed the governor? Yeah. The new yeah. <laughs> good, good for them. Uh, Paul Levin, hey, do this again. Now you know how to do it. You know, you know, uh, and and Len LaFrisco, always a pleasure. And Brian Neary, you're a real pal. I appreciate it. And Charlene Martinez. And finally, we have Edward Berger, <laughs> who signs off, our, signs off our program by saying, that's all, folks. <laughs> everybody, be, be a wave goodbye, and we'll see everybody else. See you, and if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>